and welcome to Lehigh Valley Sports Scene alongside Christy Fulkerson. I'm Gwen Begley. We'll get to Steelhawks and EPC track and field in just a bit. First, it was the tale of the never ending <laughs> hockey game. If you were up late, well, so were the Phantoms who played into the early hours of this morning. Now, that pitcher, Sam Gorkos, also threw in a home run, one of three in this game of the junior laden squad. They only have five seniors, and then the rest are all juniors. Now, Nazareth, they will take on Parkland next, the owners of that lone one run loss. We'll see how that goes. I know they're looking forward to it. That's when they said they, you know, restarted their season right after that Parkland loss. Hopefully they won't have to restart it again. Yeah. So that should be a premier matchup as, as we would think. Alexa Keckler brings with her 13 years of head coaching at the collegiate level, spending her last eight right down the road at Muhlenberg College. That's where she brought a program from a 6-21 and record to a 24-6 and record in her final campaign in 2017. Now she hopes to bring that same culture of success both athletically and academically here to the Mountain Hawks. Yeah, Courtney, last night we got two really good matches with 3A and 4A. As she mentioned, we're going to start with the 4A matchup between fifth-seeded Parkland and third-seeded Emmaus. The two met twice already this season. They split the season series. This a rematch of last year's District 11 4A final, which saw the Parkland Trojans defeat the Hornets in a three-set sweep to win their fifth straight district title. This year, they were looking for their sixth. If this first set was any indication as to how this match would go, we were in for a crazy night. Now we're just going to go to the end of this set, which was the longest one I've ever witnessed. This coming after a back and forth match that saw at least 11 ties. Neither team had more than a three point advantage. It went into the 20s, then into the 30s. Any time the Hornets had the match point, the Trojans would find a way to tie. An impressive six straight district titles as Lauren Check mentioned uh, the last time they won the EPC and the district championship in the same season was in 2015. That was also the year they last won the PIAA state championship. Emmaus isn't done their season yet either. Both of these teams advance to the PIAA for a tournament. Uh, Parkland will play the district three fourth place and Emmaus will play the district one runner up on Tuesday. So they live to see another day. Cruz is one of six Lehigh wrestlers to earn top 16 seeds in their respective weight classes. But what's maybe more impressive is that the Mountain Hawks are sending wrestlers from all 10 weight classes for the first time in this qualification era. And for Cruz, their success is more important than his own. This is the view the USA Olympic luge team will have next week at the Winter Olympics. And it's also the view that hundreds, including me, had this weekend at Blue Mountains Winterfest. Well, it's kind of overshadowed by this insane overtime victory over a ranked team, but senior and Parkland product Nick Rindock had a huge milestone night. Not only did he reach a career high 33 points, one of those marked his thousandth. Now this win puts Lafayette in a great position playoff wise and the bottom four teams have to play that first round game. Lafayette is now currently tied for six with two away games left on their season. A redemption game against Boston you and then ending the season at Lehigh. So we see all of these events in the Winter Olympics and luckily for the Lehigh Valley, we've got a place to try them out right in our own backyard. Blue Mountain has lessons from skiing to snowboarding for all ages and abilities. Whether you're just learning how to pizza slice or you want to go from blue to black diamond, Blue Mountain has you covered. Yeah, we were hoping that this was going to be one of those close, maybe one run games. It really didn't turn out that way. You know, Nazareth has been playing well, as you said. Freedom, they've been playing pretty well too, winning seven out of their last nine games recently pulling out a huge win over Bethlehem Catholic this past weekend. We'll get into this game in the bottom of the second inning with Nazareth already up five to nothing. Top of the third, the Blue Eagles keep lighting it up. And when I say lighting it up, I mean big time. Bases loaded junior Serena Smith at the plate. She belts a grand slam way out of the ballpark at left field, greeted by her teammates at home. Nazareth is now up nine to nothing. After writing the article, the response was better than they could have ever imagined. Not not only the cross country and track teams, but the entire Lehigh community welcomed them with open arms. After all, when you're running and competing, it doesn't matter what your sexuality is. It only matters that you put one foot in front of the other. Final score 49 to 7. 
So a couple storylines coming out of this game. First of all, quarterback Anthony Harris, one passing touchdown away from setting the school record. But the biggest headline coming out of this game is the defense. Three interceptions, two of those for touchdowns, a handful of sacks, and a blocked punt has Nazareth out to a 3-0 and start. Perspective as their teams deal with this. Thanks, guys. Now, I am at a, a uh, frankly deserted Nazareth area high school on such a beautiful day where spring sport athletes should be preparing for a game or at least practicing. One of those teams is Nazareth softball, who should be preparing for what is already their third game of this season under new direction of head coach Steven Genzali. I got to speak to him earlier this week about what it's like to navigate this situation under his unique circumstance. So it's not over till it's over. Each team trying to find ways to cope and stay fresh. Desi had his whole entire team suit up and do an inner squad game with their parents in attendance before all of this happened, just in case it was the last time the seniors got to dress up in the green and gold. Back to you guys at the desk. Well, that'll do it for us for today. If you want to catch that Wild Pigs game from earlier, we'll be replaying that at 7 p.m. For Christy Fulkerson, I'm Gwen Begley. Thanks for watching Lehigh Valley Sports Scene.